With the 15th pick in the NFL draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers will try to improve on their 8-8 eight and eight season. Hello and welcome inside our Campus Insider Studios. I am Shay Pepler alongside our managing editor, Pete Futek, and we are doing CI on the clock. So, Pete, if you are the Pittsburgh Steelers, what holes do you need to fill? Could f use a wide receiver. They could find another game breaker to help out Ben Roethlisberger. They also need defensive tackle. We still have Timmy Jernigan still on the board. That might be an easy pick for them. Lewis Nix could be that big giant anchor. You plug in the middle of the line and let everything else work around him. But they also are going to need a safety. Troy Polamalu is 137 years old. He's breaking <laughs> down. They had lost some losses in free agency. That's why HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix, we think who's going to slide, could be a very easy safe pick for them. He might not be the total game breaker that they need. He's not another Polamalu, but he's a piece to the puzzle who could slide right into the uh, Pittsburgh secondary, start right away, and be a big time upgrade. I feel like Clinton's Dick's name is in everyone's pocket He's going to be around for here. a while. Yeah, here, yeah, all right. So who does Mike Tomlin and the Steelers team take ultimately, Pete? They need even more than a safety for that secondary. They need another cornerback, and we still have Darquez Denard on the board. He might not be the fastest of corners. He might not be the prototype. Justin Gilbert has a little more skill than him, but he's gone earlier. Denard is just a very good, very sound tackler. Pittsburgh went Michigan State last year with Le'Veon Bell in their first round. They like the program, like what Mark D'Antonio does with it. Denard would be a very easy pick for them. He might, again, he might not be the number one overall corner you could find out there. He's going to have problems with speed receivers, but he can tackle, he can hit. He looks like a Pittsburgh Steeler. Hey, maybe he'll implement a no-fly zone for that Steelers team. That's what they need you out of there. You never know. All right, Pete Futek, thank you very much. And for more NFL draft coverage, be sure to keep checking CampusInsiders.com.